Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel. In this tutorial we explain how to download and install Visual Studio Code in Linux Ubuntu 24.04. Let's immediately start. First of all, let's open a terminal, click here and search for terminal. And over here in the terminal type lsb release a and let's see what is the output. If you see the output 24.04 this means that you have the correct Linux Ubuntu distribution. In this tutorial I will explain how to install Visual Studio Code for this Linux distribution however even if you have some other Linux distribution everything that uh, I will explain in the tutorial will work. Okay so the first step is actually to download Visual Studio Code. You need to go to this web page over here and you need to click over here to download Debian or Ubuntu version of the installation. So click here and the download process will start and you'll see it over here. Good. So now we can open this file and usually the file should be saved in this download folder. Next we need to run the installation file. Consequently, let's go back to the terminal and let's go to the downloads folder. Go to the home folder by typing this and let's see that we are in the home folder and now we need to go to the downloads folder. Let me now resize this so you can see what I'm typing. You need to type this CD downloads. Let's find it. Here it is. And let's see our file. Here it is. To run this file you need to type this sudo apt install and you need to specify the name of the file here it is okay and let's execute this this should, this should start the installation however you need to insert your password and here it is now you have to be patient this will take some time And finally, let's try to run Visual Studio Code. To do that, you simply need to type code or code with a dot. I'm going to use code with a dot and let's see what will happen. Voila, here it is. Click here, yes, and you're here. Perfect. Let's just try to test the installation by writing a simple file, for example, in Python, and let's try to execute this file. Okay. Before we can actually run a Python code in Visual Studio Code, we have to make sure that we have Python installed on our system. Python should come with Ubuntu 24.04 and let's verify this. So let's type in terminal Python 3 and you should see something like this, Python 3.12.3 and this means that Python is installed on our system. Okay, so let's exit. Next, let's go to the Visual Studio Code and let's install the Python extensions for Visual Studio Code. To do that, click on View and over here click on Extensions and here search for Python. And after some time you will see this and click here. Python language support with extension access points for IntelliSense, PyLens, debugging, etc. So let's install this. Note over here that you're actually not installing the Python interpreter in Visual Studio Code. You're just installing a tool that will help you to write Python files. You can even write Python files without this tool or better to say without this extension. Okay, so let's write, let's write our first Python file. Click on File, New File and I'm going to call it test1.py and let's save it in the Downloads folder doesn't matter where you're going to save and let's just type print my first my first Python program and do this okay now let's execute this file the best strategy to execute this file is to press Control shift P in order to find the Python interpreter and over here search for Python interpreter or Python better select interpreter here it is and over here you have several options we're going to select this option since we are running Python from the base environment we didn't create 
a virtual environment or actually you have both of these options however let's stick to the default options and now you can simply click here run python file and here it is my first python program looks good so let's now modify this python program so for example let's do something like this a is 3 b is 4 and for example c is a plus b and let's now print c just to see will this work by adding different numbers and we can see 7 and let's do another test import numpy as np numpy should be installed in the base python environment let's try to test it numpy array for example let's define a matrix 1 2 3 4 and let's see let's call this matrix a and let's just type print a to see the result and let's run this and let's hope everything will be fine here it is look good and works as it should okay that's all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons also on my youtube page there are more than 700 free video tutorials covering different topics such as machine learning programming control theory control engineering robotics then data science, then large language model, then also text-to-image models, text-to-video models, etc. Okay, that's all for today, and have a nice day.